Hey, what's up everyone? The Bitcoin scene is like a battlefield right now. The frenzy of buying and selling is absolutely bonkers and it's like watching heavyweight champions duking it out for the crown. I gotta break it down for you and spoil the tea on what's happening. Especially with some heavyweights like BlackRock throwing their weight around. So, buckle up because we're diving into the chaos and the crypto world. But before we jump in, do me a solid. Hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. You wouldn't want to miss out on future videos breaking down the crypto drama as soon as we drop them. Now, let's talk about the wild ride that Bitcoin has been on. We've seen it bounce around between 40,000 and 415,000, making us dizzy with every move. Now let's get into the nitty gritty. Grayscale, the big player in the game, has been shedding Bitcoin like it's going out of style. They dropped the bomb by selling 52,000 bitcoins, nearly a tenth of their stash. But hold on, it's not because they're bearish on bitcoin, it's more about them keeping those fees sky high and raking in the moolah. Sure, it's a short term win, but in the long run it might just be a head scratcher. But that's not all. Bitcoin miners are also cashing in, selling a whopping $450 million of bitcoin in a single day. Wrap your head around this. That's over 10,000 bitcoins, equivalent to around 11 days of the entire mining supply. Are they building up a war chest for the bitcoin halving? It's a possibility. Now, on the flip side, we've got the big spenders, the whales, the Mr. 100 and Tether making moves that could make your head spin. Mr. 100 didn't just buy 100 bitcoin once, he did it 3 times in a single day. Talk about deep pockets, they're holding nearly $2 billion worth of Bitcoin and continue to scoop up more day after day. And then we have Tether, not to be outdone, snatching up an additional 8,888 Bitcoins at an average price of $42,000 in Q4. Their total stash now sits at a whopping 66,465 Bitcoins. Yeah, you heard that right, more than some folks entire net worth. Alright folks, let's dive into the nitty gritty of Tether's business model and trust me, it's a genius one. Picture this, they've got a whopping $95 billion in market cap. You heard that right, they keep some of it handy in case people want to cash in their Tether for good old dollars. But here's the kicker, they park a chunk of that in treasuries, raking in a cool 45% interest. Let's do the math on just $50 billion. That's a sweet $2 billion a year, just in interest and mind you, this is no high risk business. It's just sitting back and watching the interest roll in. Now here's the twist. Tether spills the beans that they plan to toss about 15% of their treasure chest into Bitcoin. Yeah, they're in for the long haul, steadily growing their Bitcoin stash. And why does this matter? Well, it's not just about them, it's about the whole crypto ecosystem. A thriving Bitcoin means more interest, more players, and a boost for good old USD. Speaking of players though, let's talk about the heavyweights. We've got your average retail investor, a big shot whale, dropping a couple of billion on Bitcoin and then we've got Tether, a crypto native company diving headfirst into the buying game. And if that's not enough, We've got the big institutions, with BlackRock leading the charge. Sure, BlackRock as a company didn't swipe up those 28,000 bitcoins, it's the inflows into their ETF doing the talking. But here's the kicker, they hit $1 billion in AUM faster than any ETF ever. That's no small feat. Now, let's chat about bitcoins roller coaster ride. The price has been doing the cha-cha, some liquidations here, miners selling a hefty amount there. It's all a wild ride, and then there's Bitcoin dominance, the compass for crypto investors like me. For the longest time, it's been a one-way street heading north since late 2022, but hold the phone. We've hit a turning point. We have broken through the resistance line and there's a red wick suggesting we're headed south. It's got me intrigued. Are we gearing up for an altcoin season? Now we also talked a lot about Satoshi VM which is that crypto gem that shot up a mind blowing 3000% since its launch on Uniswap. Well, buckle up because we've got another one for you. It's called Syncus. Now before you raise an eyebrow, let me spill the beans on why this one's got my attention. Now first things first, it's already live so you can check it out on CoinMarketCap. 
Sinkus boasts a cool $10 million in its treasury, ready to scale up the project. Now here's where it gets interesting. It has a bit of a Ponzi dynamic. Some see it as a positive, some as a negative, but hey, it's all about perspective, right? Now here's the lowdown on Sinkus. They're using their treasury funds to take out loans in USD to buy back their own token. <laughs> That's crazy, right? They've gained a thousand more holders in just a week, growing their treasury along the way. Now yeah, there's a 15% sell tax, but hold on. It creates deflationary pressure. The mechanics are pretty wild as well. Someone buys 100 ETH worth of sync, sells it, and only 82.4 ETH worth of sync need to be bought back to maintain the original price. Compounded over time, it's like a crypto flywheel creating exponential growth. Now, it's come down a bit from its peak about 30 to 40 percent, but the volume is holding steady. It's pegged to the Ethereum value and not USD, so if you're bullish on Ethereum, this might be music to your ears. Big influencers are buzzing about, and it's still the early days with a $10 million market cap. Now, let's just be crystal clear on this. Do your own research. We're not shouting buy, buy, buy. We're just sharing our thoughts on the market. Of course, there are tons of other altcoins in the sea, and we'll dive into more of them in future videos. We want to hear your thoughts. What's your take on this tug of war between buyers and sellers? Do you think we're breaking under 40? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Bitcoin's been a wild ride, with Grayscale selling big and miners cashing in. But on the flip side, Mr. 100 and Tether are buying big. Tether's genius business model with a $95 billion market cap is making waves. They plan to invest 15% in Bitcoin, boosting the crypto ecosystem. And now, Syncus, a live project with a $10 million treasury. It's got a bit of a Ponzi dynamic, but some see it as positive. With a 15% sell tax creating deflationary pressure, it's an interesting crypto flywheel. So we want to know your thoughts on this crypto battlefield. Drop them in the comments below. Thanks a bunch for hanging out with me on this crypto journey and thanks for watching. Until the next video, stay curious, stay invested and let's ride this crypto wave together. Catch you later.